Hello guys, good afternoon. I'm Julius Rosado of Buhay sa Dubai and welcome to a very special episode natin ngayon kasi nga ang ating Buhay sa Dubai stories papasukin natin ang bagong mundo dito sa aking YouTube channel. Kaya for today, isang napaka very humble, ayan, super famous as of now when it comes to talaga mga big time at napakaganda mga couture coming from Benz De La Rosa. Welcome! Thank you. Okay, una sa lahat, uh, gusto ko munang kumustahin ka? I'm good so far. Eh, tayo na normal sa'yo, no? Yung pagiging mahihain mo talaga? Oo. <laughs> Ever since. Ngayon nga ako nag-out sa Filipino community kasi mm -hmm. lagi lang ako sa couture shops and Arab clients. Okay. So, few months back na ako nag-start uh, na mag-come out sa Filipino community. Alright. So, guys, aalamin pa natin at makikilala natin today ang isang Benz De La Rosa na isang kilalang fashion designer dito sa Dubai. So, kwentuhan muna tayo. So, back in the Philippines, bago ka pa naging OFW, ano yung pinakahuling trabaho mo sa Pilipinas? Um, the last... Uh, I'm a freelance uh, makeup artist. And oh. a fashion designer as well. And then while I'm taking the, my second uh, course, which is Bachelor of Science in uh, Bachelor in Secondary Education, sorry. So teacher ka? Supposed to be. But okay. uh, unfortunately, um, I just had 73% of the left exam. So I failed. Oh. <laughs> so in choices, ko, if I failed, magdudubay ako kasi meron ng offer sa akin that time. So sabi ko, just wait. Tapusin ko lang yung left. Mm -hmm. Pag na ako, Dubai ako. Pag pumasa, multi-teach ako. Pero you know what? Based mm -hmm. on your story, may mga bagay talaga na minsan gusto natin, mm -hmm. pero kung ano talaga yung nakatadahana para sa atin, yes, exactly. dadalhin at dadalhin ka. And I think that's the reason why you didn't pass yeah, your examination really. because you belong to other world na hindi yeah. talaga para sa sa'yo. Yeah. Na hindi mo pala, hindi ka ready. And then when you entered mm -hmm. that world, mm -hmm. nahanap mo yung mga tamang elements para sa sa'yo. Yun nga, at uh, I believe in destiny talaga. Oo. Okay, so of all countries in the world, paano mo naisipan na why do you have to go to Dubai? Actually, wala akong specific country na pinili. Okay. Ang sa akin lang makapag-abroad. Uh, because my main uh, goal uh, is to save money. Kasi yung sister ko, uh, she's uh, separated sa husband, mm -hmm. my two children. So I, I, my goal is to send them to school. Wow. So, kung sa Philippines na ako, I cannot send them to college. So, that's how Philippines. you love your family talaga? Yeah, because. family oriented ako. So, ibig sabihin pala. <laughs> Oo. Pero ibig mo sabihin pala, you don't have the intention of going uh, and work abroad mm -hmm. na maging fashion designer ka. Kasi talagang, what you want is mm -hmm. to go and work abroad para lang for a better or greener pasture, greener pasture and to really yeah. help your family. Yeah, actually, hindi talaga siya for fashion design. Kahit ano lang, kahit picking apple or what's oh, ever, what kind of job. Oo, sa Japan, yeah, which Canada. Is, uh, I can earn a higher salary that mm -hmm. I am earning in the Philippines. Yun lang ang goal ko. So, gusto ko malaman, ano yung naging unang job mo dito sa Dubai? Uh, way back in the Philippines, I'm already a fashion designer, as I said, and mm -hmm. uh, makeup artist during my college days. Yun ang pinaka source of extra income ko. Oh. Pambili ng mga logo, ganyan. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, my cousin, who's already working here as a fashion designer, nagkaroon ng hiring yung company nila. Alright. As a um, hiring for fashion designer and assistant fashion designer. So, kinuha ka niya? Kinuha ko for visit visa. Mm -hmm. And then, pagdating ko dito, hindi ako sinapak as assistant or fashion designer. Uh, nilagay ako sa finisher. Oh, so parang isa ka sa mga worker? Oo. Uh -huh. Yung isang... nagalagay ng beads, oh. ng crystals. Yun lang ang work ko before. Pero how was it? Parang di ba parang you're a fashion designer na sa Philippines tapos nasa ibang bansa ka, parang mas mababa yung posisyon na binigay sa'yo? Oo, mm -hmm. ganun talaga. Hindi ka nila binigay ng mas mataas na posisyon agad knowing na meron kaming four fashion designers mm -hmm. sa company na yun. Oh. So, alam mo naman, mm -hmm. it's a competition. Uh -oh. So, sila, so, sila, sila, sila they, they stayed in that company for several years. Tapos, before sila naging fashion designer, tapos mm -hmm. ako pagdating, Fashion designer agad hindi sila papayag sa ganyan. So, I started from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then, little by little, na, nakita ng boss ko na may potential ako bilang fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Tsaka may story dyan eh. Uh -oh. um, 
uh, finished na po, then the designer was my cousin. Okay. We are assigned on one branch in Dubai, kasi meron kaming two branches. Then it happens na nagkasakit siya ng siguro mga three days. Mm -hmm. Then may pumasok na clients. They are one family for a wedding. Alright, and then? Then ayoko palampasin na wala kaming kita on that day. So I accepted. Sabi, okay kami yung madara. I will do design for you all. Ganyan, nag-sketch ako. So you can really take over? Yeah, I take over and then I really projected that I'm really the designer of that shop. Okay. Uh, then, dinesign ko sila, na-approve nila. Then, tahimik lang muna ako. Then, sinabi ko sa boss ko na may na-receive na akong ano, mm -hmm. order. And then, until it was delivered to the client, wala siyang um, reklamo or bad uh, comments sa, oh. sa mga na-release kong gown. So, doon nakita ng boss ko na may potential ako. Then, I was promoted as a fashion designer. Yes! So, Patuloy yung salary. May madit lang talaga ang salary namin nung nag-start kami. Sasabihin ko, I started for 1,000 salary as a helper. Hindi, uh, finisher ang tawag sa amin. 1,000 salary and I'm spent. Oh my God, I never experienced. Saan ba kakarating yung 1,000? I mo? came to Dubai at, uh, in the year 2005. At sa 1,000 na yan, I'm sending my niece and my nephew to school pa. School pa. So, talaga so, ano yung matitira sa'yo noon? Wala. Actually, so, I... It shows that you really love your nieces. Uh -huh. Oo. Diba? Ganun. Um, talaga, uh -huh. pinatapos ko sila and then... Ngayon, dito na rin sila sa Dubai. Ano nakikita ko sa'yo? Nararamdaman ko sa'yo na parang... You really love your family. Uh -huh. Parang you don't mind about your personal happiness. Totoo yan. Parang, alam ko, minsan ang mundo kasi ng pagiging fashionista or pagiging fashion designer is very glamorous. Uh -huh. Pero parang you, you remain very humble. <laughs> Adapt ako pagdating sa mga fashion gatherings. Uh -huh. Nahiya ako, nahiya ako talaga. Okay, so basically, for sure, some of our viewers are really interested. Paano ka napunta sa mundo ng pagiging fashion designer? Back in the Philippines, paano ka nagsimula talaga at napunta ka dito sa paggagawa na ng mga gowns, yeah. ng mga suits, at kung ano-ano pa? Uh, it started uh, on my college days. Kasi yung casting ko ngayon sa fashion designer. Okay, and so parang also, it runs to your family na talaga na may yeah. fashion designer kasi. Oo, uh, tapos I'm looking up to him. Mm -hmm. Doon ako lagi sa boutique niya. Siya na nagturo ng pag-makeup sa akin. Okay. And sa fashion. So, doon ako nagtuto ang yunti. Actually, it's not really my passion. Pero are you saying na you didn't go to like a school, a formal school para sa mga fashion design? No, but on... The street smart ka. Yeah, actually on my college days, gusto ko na mag-enroll sa fashion school. Okay. Fine arts or fashion mm -hmm. design. Kaso lang sa Calibo Aplan, walang ganong course. Mm -hmm. I need to go to Manila. Oh, which Ganon. is... Of course, you have to stay at, there and the expenses yes, and expenses. all. expenses. At ang... Tuition fee agad ng fashion designing is Mahal. really expensive. At hindi na po ng family ko. Okay. So, I took business administration. And then after that, I took uh, education. Na afford lang. Diyan lang sa mm -hmm. Kalibo. Ganon. So, wala akong formal education sa fashion design. So, it's all uh, the experience. Wow. At uh, sarili ko lang, ganon. Ang galing ano, I mean, of course, coming from your name kasi ngayon, medyo na brand ka as one of the very good uh, fashion designer talaga. Kasi imagine you are featured by Expat Media na para sa Man of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. At may isama ka doon, and then your name has been like every, most of the influential people na nakakasama ko. Napapangit nga yung pangalan, pangalan mo. Mm -hmm. So, how was it na parang you being a fashion designer na talagang self-thought lahat based on experience, based on actual uh, experience mo talaga yung panunahe, paggawa ng mga designs and all. So, how are you going to deal with your competition? Kasi napakaraming Filipino, famous Filipino designers na nandito sa Dubai. Mm -hmm. So, how do you handle yung mga ganong case? Actually, I don't compete. I just, so, I'm just doing my thing. Ginagawa ko yung tama at uh, kung anong gusto ng clients ko. I really don't compete with other fashion designers. Uh, minsan may narinig kang mga bash mm -hmm. on the other people, but uh, I just took it as a challenge. Ganun nala. And then ako kasi, I'm the uh, kind of person na uh, I'm asking for a comments and suggestions sa mga... Are you open to that? Yeah. I'm asking for 
what is your comment, your suggestions na ginawa ko, maganda ba to or what? Mm -hmm. And then, I'm collecting all of it. Okay. At ginagamit ko yun as my tools para for my better craft. Well, I think some of viewers po natin, I think we have to follow whatever is uh, Bench is actually doing when it comes to like competition. Kasi if you are really sensitive, parang sensitive into competition kasi with mm -hmm. other... Uh, kung sino man yung mga katapat mo, kasi like ako, I'm a vlogger, mm. if parang yeah, inisi ko, o, o parang I'm very conscious with anong ginagawa ng ibang mga vloggers din, mm. parang you will not find your peace eh. Tsaka man. Diba? Parang busy ka of, mm. parang inaabangan mo sila, busy. Yung time mo, you're just wasting your time on following whatever they're doing, yeah, and planning what you can make, how can you make a, a better vlogger or a better Ta fashion designer. Tama, man. tsaka mapapressure ka lang. Oh, oh. If you keep on following them, if you keep on competing with them, mm -hmm. pressure ka lang. Just, True. ang gawin mo lang, just do your own thing. May clients ka, kung anong yes. gusto ng clients mo, sundin mo, or kung hindi maganda yung gusto niya, you have to incorporate your own ideas. Mm -hmm. That's true. To come up with a better uh, idea. It's a, um, a very good idea. Kasi diba, parang, what I like about yung paano mo dinadala kasi lahat is, Parang it is always very good to always compete with yourself. Kasi at the end of the day, Ooh. ikaw yung nag improve Di ba? Parang, yeah. oh nga no? Kasi I think all of us should really be doing that. Kasi at the end of the day, it's the customer satisfaction naman ang yes. importante. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay, so gusto kong malaman sa'yo with your, ano, with your fashion, uh, as, as a fashion designer dito sa Dubai, Sino yung pinakamalaki na ng mga pangalan so far ang nadamitan ng Bench de la Rosa? Uh, okay, uh, let's start with the celebrities. Junis Orsano, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Joke. So, um, Jan Madela, wow. on his uh, latest concert, uh, 15th year anniversary of mm -hmm. Jan Madela in uh, Manila. Okay. And then Edward Barbers recently. Oh nga, uh, na pinagkakaguluhan uh, dito, di ba sa Dubai? Yeah, he wore my, uh, one of my coat collection. Oh. Pati na ito kanina, hindi ka siya sa akin. <laughs> well, because he's so skinny. Uh -oh. And then... Um, Thank you, ha? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, um, I'm, I'm so glad, tsaka overwhelmed that uh, Madam Yasmin Cortez. Yes, Madam Cortez. Madam Yasmin Cortez. Madam Yasmin Cortez. Conjun Paul Raymond Cortez. Called me up. No, message me. Na, Hi, eventually, it's your number. Nag-message siya. Sabi ko, kinabahan ako. Okay. Diyos ko baka sabi ko may nagreklamo sa akin sa Philippine Consulate. Baka, <laughs> Kira naisip mo talaga. Baka may nagcomplain sa akin or okay. what. And then I, I gave my number and then hindi agad siya tumawag. Okay. So mas na pressure ka? Na pressure ako hindi siya tumawag. Then the next day sabi ko, uh, Carla and uh, Madam Yasmin is so close. Sabi ko, Carla please, uh, bakit tawagan si Madam Yasmin? Uh -huh. ko, ko, ano ba yung, bakit hindi niya yung number ko? Lahat okay. tapos hindi pa siya tumatawag at yun now. Na, na ano lang ako. Oh, oh, oh. And then, Madam Yasmin called me up. Kailangan na pala niya ng code for code, Jen. Oh. So, sa lahat ng mga designers na kilala na... Of course, uh, ama, ng, ama ng mga Pilipino dito sa Dubai and the Northern yeah. Emirates. Yeah. Oo. Oh. At ako nag-umpisa pa lang. Oo. Oh. Napansin nila ako para magpagawa ng code. So, it's it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Na-overwhelm ako. So, Pero medyo sa kumalaman, how was it? Parang you as a street... Parang you, you, you gain your experience based on kung paano ka lang talaga nagsimula back in the province. Yeah. Hanggang later on, ito na nga, may mga, mga client mo na is mga malaking pangalan. Mm -hmm. How was it yung kliyente mo malaking tao? Gano'ng kahirap? Gano'ng kadali? Or paano ginagawa mo? Actually, hindi ko siya nararamdaman. Parang okay. parang um, normal clients lang yung karap ko. Kasi little by little, parang palaki na palaki yung clients ko. Hindi ko siya nararamdaman. And then, There's a time in my life na blessed ko na naisip ko, ay, mga, mga yung clients ko, mga malalaking tao na, mm -hmm. ganyan. So, doon ako napapaisip na, okay, I have to behave well. <laughs> I have to behave on FB. Yes. And, tsaka yung mga nag-profed request na hindi ka talaga close pero on the fashion industry, mm -hmm. so, ina-accept ko, so, di, di pwedeng mga ganun po sa Facebook. So, masaya lang siyang isipin na I'm improving mm -hmm. at lalo-lalo na yung mga may nag-PPN sa akin, friends from the media, friends from the industry, fashion mm -hmm. industry na, ikaw-congratulate. 
lalong lalo na yung mga people sa province sa Kalibo uh-huh. because I'm bringing the name of Kalibo Aklay. Yes. So tell us more about Kalibo Couture pala kasi akala ko dati your last name was Kalibo. No. Tapos alamang ko it's Benz de la Rosa. Saan paano kayo nangyari yun? So you're bringing the, the your brand representing your my, province. My hometown. Hometown. Uh, ah. Actually, Kalibo uh, is the former name of Kalibo, mm-hmm. which is K-A and B-O. Uh, that's the former name of Kalibo during the Spanish, Spanish time. time. Oh. Yeah. Na under pa kami sa Capiz. Right. Then when we separated from the Cap- from Capiz, change na yung um, spelling. Okay, so al- alam mo kasi ikaw nagsimula ka talaga dito kasi that's why your name is not that known with to Filipino communities because you're focused on non-Filipino. Yeah, yes. So can you tell us the, the big difference of having Filipino and non-Filipino clients? Um, you can be honest or you cannot be honest, it's fine. <laughs> I will tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, mas madaling uh, makadil ang Filipino. Okay. Kasi hindi lang because it's a nationality kayo, mm-hmm. pero versatile ang Filipino clients eh. Mm-hmm. Tapos pwede mo silang ma-dictate okay. kung anong mas bagay sa kanila, anong mas maganda. 